the CG used in modern films is pretty obvious, but there are movies and moments where many viewers do not even realize computer graphics are being used. With examples like actor stand-ins and fake abs, check out some of the craziest CG moments which many people thought were real. Before you watch, click subscribe. You'll join our notification squad and be the first to know of new Screen Rant content. Let's begin. Well, I have returned, and in short order, so shall our fortunes. Dark Shadows. Johnny Depp is no stranger to the world of CG with roles in effects heavy films like Pirates of the Caribbean and Alice in Wonderland. For the dark comedy Dark Shadows, the CG was a little more subtle for his character Barnabas Collins. As a vampire, the CG team paid attention to two important details, no reflections and no blinking. 700 frames of Johnny Depp blinking were digitally removed as was every single reflection. Beyond mirrors, this included any glass surface or reflective window which may have showcased the character. This result helped create a realistic vampire set in such a quirky world. <laughs> Logan For flashback scenes in various younger ages, many movies have relied on CG effects to make actors look a lot more young. Impressive uses include the character of Ego in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. For the movie Logan, Hugh Jackman actually needed CG effects to make him look older. As an actor, it must feel pretty good knowing a special effects team needed to digitally add in wrinkles and gray hair. The aging effect worked as Logan looked aged and weathered in the futuristic X-Men film. The digital effects were mixed perfectly with real makeup and practical designs to make old man Logan come to life. Ghost Rider Superheroes are supposed to be fit and in shape, with actors and actresses often training months at a time to prepare for a role. For Nicolas Cage's role in Ghost Rider, he put the work in, but the CG team helped him out a little bit as well. For some of Cage's shirtless scenes, the digital effects team needed to remove many of his tattoos. In the process, they decided to add some abs to his stomach along the way. The abs look convincing and real for the brief shots in the mirror. At least they're a little bit more authentic feeling than many of his acting choices over the years. We're gonna do a full background check, but I gotta tell you, I like this guy. Zodiac the Zodiac movie was a big budget production following the infamous Zodiac killer from the 1970s. Director David Fincher paid attention to every detail in the film, making sure he could capture the details of San Francisco along with the 1970s time period. A ton of CG was used for establishing shots. This included buildings, cars, and the decor appearing around the streets. The film felt like it took place in the 1970s because of these CG effects, even though the visuals just look like great set design and props. Surprisingly, a lot a lot of props are just digital creations and not authentic. Iron Man 3 Delays and major changes in film productions can happen for a number of different reasons. For Iron Man 3, an ankle injury for Robert Downey Jr. led to some serious questions about the actor's availability. Thankfully, a stand-in actor and some pretty convincing CG helped fill the gaps while Downey healed his ankle. While watching Iron Man 3, it's extremely hard to tell who is the fake Tony Stark and who is the real one. The facial mapping effects worked brilliantly as Robert Downey Jr. recorded his face for the digital manipulation. At least the rest of the time, he was behind the Iron Man mask and crew didn't really need his physical face. Jurassic Park 25 years later and Jurassic Park CG still holds up. The whole franchise is known for the incredible work done on the dinosaurs as they seamlessly mix animatronics with digital creations. As you get distracted by the dinosaurs, it's easy to miss one of the more clever CG shots in the movie. When Lex falls through the ceiling as everyone tries to escape the raptors, her body dangles for a few moments before she is pulled to safety. Obviously, the young actress couldn't be used to perform a stunt like that, so a female stunt double was used. When the stunt double looks up for a brief second, Lex's face was digitally added to make the whole thing feel just a little bit more realistic. You see, I told you so. There's lots of things I know. Les Miserables. Creating a movie musical is a lot harder than many movie fans realize. Actors have to lip sync to tracks while trying to make sure they don't look like they're lip syncing. To help with the production of Les Miserables, the actors were given earpieces so they could easily hear the tracks and their singing. But obviously, the earpieces would be a bad look for a big budget movie production, so every shot featuring an earpiece was digitally removed in the final edit of the film. Obviously, the technique worked as the movie was a hit and Anne Hathaway won an Oscar for her performance. Rogue One, A Star Wars Story 
For the first Star Wars story spin-off film, the storyline was set in the events just before Episode 4. Naturally, the story would feature characters from the first ever Star Wars movie, but there were multiple problems. The actor who portrayed Grand Moff Tarkin passed away in 1994, over 20 years before Rogue One was filming. CG effects were chosen to bring the character to life, and the final film could have fooled anyone who didn't know the actor passed away. Even with all the space battles and lightsaber effects, the digital creation of Tarkin was probably the most impressive CG in the whole movie. Furious 7 Paul Walker's sudden death in 2013 was during the middle of production for the Fast and the Furious sequel, Furious 7. The cast and crew decided to move on with filming of the movie in honor of Walker. For the remaining scenes needed to be shot, Walker's brother stood in for the role. Paul's face was then digitally recreated and added in. The whole film flows well between the real Paul Walker and the CG character. Thanks to his brother, the character had a fitting end in the franchise and fans got to celebrate the actor's life in a moving way. Hey, fellas! Look what I found in my pocket! Look! Wolf of Wall Street Back in the 1990s, a drama like The Wolf of Wall Street would have been all shot on movie sets, while establishing shots would have captured footage of real locations. For the modern day filming of the Leonardo DiCaprio film, so many CG shots were used where people didn't even really realize. Some of the mundane shots had extensive CG, including beach weddings, DiCaprio entering a house, and several digital backdrops. One of the more complicated CG shots included the final scenes in the movie where DiCaprio plays tennis in a minimum security prison. The shot consisted of over 10 separately taped scenes, elaborate green screens, and digital characters. Watching the scene, everything looks real and shot all at once. Question is this, was all this legal? Absolutely not. There you have it. Which CG moments looked the most realistic to you? And are there any that we missed? Let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video, share it, and subscribe to Screen Rant on YouTube so you can stay up to date with our awesome videos. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you at the movies.